Why don't we look at this interesting case? Here's what it says. In the production facility, I have bricks, and the dimensions of the bricks is given to you, 2 inch by 4 inch by 8 inch, okay? It's seated from, let's say, 70 Fahrenheit to 1500 Fahrenheit, okay? This is a real, uh, you know, temperature that they heated to, okay? And I'm asking you, how much would heating 1,000 bricks, say that, you know, I have an oven, I put 1,000 of them, cost? If 1 million BTU costs $32.24, and I obtain that 1 million BTU costs $32.24 by using 0 0.11 cent per kilowatt hour, which is the cost here in um, Tampa, okay? Um, okay, so let's uh, get the business, okay? Again, please try to do it yourself uh, before you watch me do it, okay? So obviously now there's a cost involved, so I have to look at this. The, 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 well, we, we covered zero law, which is not helping a lot, but we also covered first law, so why don't I use it? Okay, Q net minus W net is equal to delta E of the system. So let's look at the Q net. Um, so what I will do is I actually, there's a couple of methods to do it, but I will do like, I'm going to look at the individual one brick and I'm going to multiply by a thousand, okay? Is there an assumption? Yeah, it is an assumption, right? I'm assuming that, you know, when, you, when I pack them tightly together, the cost will be just simply thousand of eating a single brick, okay? That's an assumption, but that's, you know, what else can I do, right? It was an, it's an open-ended question at the end of the day. So this is the, the question I have, how much heat do I need to supply? And I'm going to look at how much that heating costs, right? So this Q net is the question mark. What about W net? I'm going to write quite general. Uh, w out minus W in plus the boundary work. Well, you can see I'm not extracting any energy from the brakes, right? Also, I'm not putting any work. Remember, I'm putting heat in, right? By the way, you can also, you know, it's up to you. It's the same thing. You can think that there's heat transfer, this, uh, you know, the heating is due to the heat transfer, but also if this is like, let's say, resistance heating is attached to it and they have to putting work in, you can also leave this in and cancel this too. It, it will be the same thing if you think about mathematics, right? There's a negative in front of it, negative, negative, because the positive. So it's up to you, but I'm asking the heating and taking the brick, one brick as my system. So then W in will be zero for that particular case. Obviously, this is solid. There will be no boundary uh, verb, right? So you can see in here, the way that I uh, imagine this open-ended question is, I said W net is zero, okay? And the, the, the next thing I left off with is the right-hand side. What is the delta E of the system? Um, it, I don't have to explain a lot, but this is obviously stationary. So then it becomes delta U, right? That will be M times U2 minus U1, okay? Um, and this we did before, n times integral of c as a function of t dt, right? Um, so one thing that I want to highlight though, for solids and brick is, well, no question about it, it is a solid, the c. And remember, cb is equal to cp is equal to c, right? So it's going to be m times c times integral of dt will be delta t, so that will be t2 minus t1, okay? So the only uh, question now is, where am I going to find this M and C values, right? M, I wasn't given, I given the dimensions. So then I will approach table A3EB, which lists all the information related to the solids. And I find there, there's a bread, okay? And they give you the density of it as 120 pound mass per feet cube. That's the density of the brick. And they also give you the CP. It says CP, but C is equal to CP is equal to CV. So I'm not going to write CP, okay? And that will be 0 0.189 BTU per pound mass times Rankine, okay? So that information is key to find the solution to this question, okay? I said, by the way, this is density. I'm not sure you, you're familiar with my signal symbol for density. So the density is, as you know, this from all the way from physics, as this is mass divided by volume. I simply, from here, you can see that the mass will be density times the volume. So I'll put it up there, right? So delta U will be M, which is rho times volume times C times T2 minus T1. Rho is 120. Let's look right the units because I want to ensure that I'm getting BTU at the end. Feet cube. Volume. It says 2 by 4 by 8 inches, right? That is in 
facing the multiplication of these three will be feet cubed. So you can see over here, I get myself pound mass, which makes a lot of sense because this is mass. And then I multiply this by 189 BTU per pound mass times Rankine, right? So you can see now, pound masses cancel too. So I get myself so far BTU per Rankine. And then I'm going to multiply this, I run out of space, so I'm, you know, like, uh, multiply this by T2 minus T1. Can I simply write here uh, 1, you know, minus this? Uh, would that be a mistake? Because it's Fahrenheit, how am I going to cancel this and that? Should I convert this to Rankine? No, I don't have to. Remember, the delta of uh, Rankine is also equal to Fahrenheit, right? Delta, individual not, but Fahrenheit and Rankine, they are the same. So you can, you know, get rid of this. You can see I get myself BTU. And the rest is kind of like, you know, putting it to the calculator. And you get yourself something like this. 1,200 BTU per brick, okay? So one brick has this much. Again, I'm going to now continue with my assumption. So if this one brick, you know, I'm going to say it's linearly proportional, right? In reality, then this may not be completely accurate. But this is the best I can do, right? So this becomes for a thousand of them, I'm gonna have 1.2 million, right? Like something like this. BTUs, right? And the question gave me that 1 million BTU costs 32.24. Then you can see I'm gonna multiply this right by 1.2, something like that, right? And if I do it, you will get yourself the total cost to heat this particular brick, thousand bricks is gonna be. Close to forty dollars, thirty-eight dollars and seventy-two cents. Okay, and again, this is electrical heating, so the typically there will be some loss to the environment. Okay, not hundred percent of electric energy that you put um, to heat the uh, 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 you know the oven is gonna go up here. So there may be some loss. It may cost a little bit more. Thank you for watching this segment as well. Have a good day.